the Indianapolis Children's Museum and Science Works is truly like nothing you have ever seen before. The Children's Museum of Indianapolis is the biggest and best children's museum in the world. We're 90 years young this year and second oldest children's museum in the United States. And we have about 1.2 million visitors a year. CSI, the Mysterious Waters of the World, is a program we offer here at the Children's Museum for children in grades second and third. Because of support for the American Honda Foundation, we will be able to bring over a thousand students from central Indiana to participate in the program. I think it's a really cool place to learn and explore. I think it's fun to do science here because it's all for children. CSI stands for Curious Scientific Investigators. And what that means is when children participate in this program, we want to ignite that natural curiosity. We want them to ask questions and be inspired to dig into a problem. So our current mystery, um, we created this character who is an explorer and she has collected water for the museum. Uh, but she's had a little bit of an issue coming through customs. So we have kids make a prediction, we have kids make a hypothesis. They're also using real science tools. And, and this also puts them in the driver's seat. Like they are the ones using that tool, collecting that data. And so by having the storyline, it gives students context. The CSI unit here at the Children's Museum ties into my curricular unit on chemistry. I think it really helps them feel like real scientists and they love that part. We do orientation sessions for the teachers and they come to the museum and we walk them through the experience and really talk through how do you integrate this experience into your classroom. It's very important for the Children's Museum to support STEM education and model really great STEM education as well because we know there are so many opportunities for kids and so if we can help be that inspiration for them to ask questions and think about being an engineer or think about being a scientist. In a time where some schools are not as um, able to provide those kinds of opportunities because of cutbacks and funding, it's a resource that helps keep learning exciting and enjoyable and let our children see what's out there. They just need to be discoverers and go out there and discover.